All right, this is gonna be a lesson in finish what you started. D Lent, day 38. Now Lent is finished, Jesus is risen. We celebrated that last Sunday. And our title for the 38th day was I Am. Now that's a kind of strange name to call oneself, I am. Who are you? I am. You are what? Are you tired? No, I am that I am. And Jesus in this whole chapter, chapter eight of John, he is kind of arguing, going back and forth, trying to get them to understand that he, Yeshua, is from above. He is from heaven and that they are from the earth and they are children of Abraham. And they're like, so what are you then? He's like, I'm from above. I am the son of man. I am a son of, I am Jesus. I am Yeshua. I am your savior. And they just, they don't get it. Little bit of thick headedness there. And I don't think we would be any better. So Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth. Before Abraham came into existence, I am. In Hebrew, I think the word is vahaya, which means to be. The first person singular form of that word is heya, or in Greek, it's ego ami. And right after Jesus says this, the religious leaders that were there picked up stones to throw him, to stone him picked up stones to throw at him, to stone him. They wanted to kill him right then and there. So what was it about this title, this name, that made them freak out so much? The first time we hear the words ego ami in scripture is when Abraham is talking to a burning bush back in Exodus. And he's told to go ask Pharaoh to let the Hebrew children go. And so Abraham has one question and he says, okay, but um, what's your name? Who should I tell Pharaoh has sent me? And God, this burning bush, his spirit through that says, I am that I am, ego ami. This is why the Pharisees and Sadducees freak out because Jesus is claiming to be the eternal God who was, who is, who is to come. The one who is, I am in the past. I am in the present. I am in the future. And it shows that he's independent of creation. His presence alone guarantees the fulfillment of the covenants. And he's trying to explain this to them so that they see how as Abraham's children, they need a savior and they're not getting it. They're like, no, but we follow, we follow Abraham. We're good. We don't need a savior. He's like, oh, but you do. And so it's this idea of not recognizing Jesus for his divinity and the power and just his omnipresence, his ability that he was in the beginning at creation. He was before Abraham. They ask him, so are you greater than him? Cause he gave us bread in the wilderness and they just have all these questions. And he's like, you know what? I am, I am. So as you go about this day, today, remember your God is. He is with you now. He is with you yesterday. He is with you tomorrow and the tomorrows that come. All right, have fun and I will see you later as we finish off the series. Bye.